I can't barely breathe. I'm like, I'm torn. Like, I kind of want this door to just open. But I don't want to see what's on the other side. And I really don't want to go down there. It's dark as fuck. Oh my f thought I heard something behind me. Is that fog? Smoke? Like what the fuck's going on down there? This is not- that's not normal. Maybe that is where Rama was. I don't know where to look. I feel like I should look to the side. But it's not fair to you guys, but- Is that smoke down there? Could be. Could be a ghost. Cause ghosts are sometimes... <sighs> There's a fucking wheelchair. Looks like the stairs are blocked off. This is- this is fucking intense, I swear to god. <sighs> oh, they're not- stairs not blocked off all the way. Yippee doo da day. Means we get to go down them, woo! I feel like that wheelchair is set up perfectly to attack me. There's not really anywhere I can look that's not scary right now. I'm walking over this wheelchair. <sighs> Y'all, I... I swear to God, I am breathing. Like, I, I'm holding my breath for a long period of time. My heart is starting to do that thing where it fucking hammers like... <laughs> that wheelchair was already there, Tracy. That wheelchair was already there. There's stairs. Clearly I should check out this room first. <laughs> I was half expecting that door to just slam in my face because obviously Araya wants me to go somewhere. And it feels like it's gotta be down those stairs. Not in this pointless fucking room. It's literally an empty pointless fucking room. We're going down these stairs. We're, I feel like we're going into Silent Hill where Rama was. Which, I don't know why we would. Like, I don't know, um... Cause the baby dolls, the, the, the girls, everything that's happened in Silent Hill has not been... ...related to Araya's story. At least not that I know of, I mean. Could surprise us. I'm just gonna stare at the corners like I always do. Wait to see if something loud happens. Oh my fucking god. I see something down there. Like fog, smoke stuff. But other than that, that's just a really dark fucking hole. <laughs> I hate my life. Jesus Christ, y'all. I mean, it's not gonna be... It's gotta be something paranormal. It's not gonna be that cult guy again. After he pushed her down the elevator shaft or whatever, 
She fell down the elevator shaft. He's preoccupied with Rama. Oh, Lord. What was that noise? I don't know, but I didn't like it. Oh my fucking god, okay. I've missed so many jump scares in scary games because... Because I just don't look. Like, I, I swear, I've missed so many jump scares, not only in this, but every horror game I've done. I swear, when I start this game, like, up, like, whenever I start, I'm like, I ain't gonna be fucking scared. And I always start out, like, really brave. And we're hitting, like, once you get, like, at least an hour in, I'm just, like, a fucking, I'm like, okay, next save point, I'm done. That's dark as fuck. Like, you can't see anything ahead of you besides, like, directly in front of you. Oh, I can see, I can see a door over there. Faintly. I think it just opened on its own. It sounded like it did, but... Oh my god, fuck this game, fuck this game in the ass. Raw. With a 15 inch dildo. What is that? Is that trash bags? Okay, trash bags, cool. I mean, it's, it's less scary than it was out there. The fog is what's really weird about about this, because fog's not usually inside of buildings unless there's like a paranormal entity that's making it like kind of chilly or something. I'm such a fucking bitch. Let's check the door. Fuck. 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 Fuck a duck. I actually didn't expect it to open. <sighs> so there's the fog, and there's... Scary. It's all fucking scary. And this mold is really scary. Black mold is the worst kind of mold. We're all going to die of just being sick. What's that noise? Did I miss something? Or is it just trying to scare the fuck out of me? Wait! Avia! Yeah, I must have missed Araya. I know her name's Aria, but I'm I'm a hick. I'm white trash. I say Araya. So Araya was there then, probably. I missed it because I because I'm a bitch. Stares at my feet all the time. So I wonder what's in the other way with the fog. The brick is showing? Or is that graffiti? I can't I can't tell. The textures are so bad. And my textures are quality is really low, so it's probably just that, not the actual game itself. Oh god. It's that painting again. The one from that one room. I don't even know who saw that painting, but What? 
is that? You guys see that? This entire area is creepy as shit in general because it looks like, like there's like this walkway up to the fucking right there. I don't know, it just looks like a ritualistic place, like, like a church or something. I think that's a reception desk, maybe? But that's not a receptionist, that's a fucking... I can't tell what that is, but it's moving. It looks like a, it kind of looks like a torso, just dancing around. This game is super fucking weird. Like it's, it's, that's what makes this game so scary is that it's, it just keeps throwing new things at us. Like that monster upstairs with Boone. I'm assuming he was upstairs. And uh, it's like Araya's chapters haven't really, uh, not Araya, but Marissa's chapters haven't really been that scary. But as it goes along, it just keeps adding new things that make it scary again. And they're all weird, like creepy shit. Shit that nightmares are made of. Is that, is that a torso? Like possibly there's the rest of the body, but it's hidden behind the reception desk. It looks like a girl, like a tweaker or something, being like, okay, this is what it looks like. But from behind. Who did this to you? Who did what to her? I don't like this. Yeah, that is. That probably is what it is. I feel like I'm gonna have to approach it, but I'm going to try not to. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> cut! <laughs> okay, I get it. You want me to approach it? Jesus Christ! I ain't gonna lie, that scared me pretty bad. I just expected the door to be locked. I didn't know it was gonna like. Okay, okay, Araya, you want me to see something going on? Is that you, Araya? I can't really tell. Is that Araya? There's like a piece of paper right there or something glowing. Well, it's definitely a, a girl. Is her arm cut off? Or is it is it like this? Like I can only see her elbow. Cause it looks like her arm's cut off, kind of. I'm gonna try and go around this way and see how bad this ends. Let me go in. Well, so it must want me to go in there, right? I can't. I mean, I want the glowing thing, but it must want me to go in here because. It opened and things are leading me this way. Uh, that's creepy. That's a really cool cabinet. I haven't seen a cabinet quite like that. Obviously, I gotta crawl underneath there. Yippee doodah day. Hello, floor. Yeah, I mean, I think Arai is trying to show us something. There's an item right there. <sighs> Oops, I turned off my flashlight. Dun, dun, 
da, 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 it's a pen. Whoa, a pen. An empty pen. It has the name Mariah on the side. Oh. This pen just got way more interesting. But it's still a pen. I don't think it needed that big of a dramatic entrance. I gotta pull it, you guys. <laughs> You know Araya's right out there, like, this is obviously connected to the other room. Of course I gotta pull it. Hi Araya, how you doing boo? What's up, it's your bestie, you wanna do that best friend handshake we made? Oh wait, I think your arm might be cut off. That'll make it complicated, but... No, looking at you, it looks like you, you just got your elbows up, so you're just crying. It's not your arm cut off. I mean... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Let's look at this. I'm wearing a doctor mask. Let me touch your private parts. Spread your legs. It's like everything's blocked off to get to her. So I have to like go all this huge roundabout way and shit. Can I go this way? Gotta check. No. I feel like my mouse is hella sensitive. I should probably lower it. Took me this long into the game to actually maybe lower it a little bit. It's still very sensitive. But I like a little bit of a sensitive mouse. That way it, you know, it cares about me and cries. Wait, is she gone? Looks like she's gone. I just, I, I need this paper, okay? I want it. Hmm. Looks like a piece of paper. A medical statement that belongs to Miss Araya So Poppin. Oh, I forgot her last name was So Poppin. <laughs> Stupid ass fucking name. Araya Renee So Poppin. Department of Psychiatry, 19 January 2015. Manic depression, bipolar disorder. We already. We already know you're- <sighs> Bitch, this isn't all necessary. Stop it. You're creeping me out. I wanna go this way. I know the other way is obviously where I need to go. But what's over here? Uh... Nothing. There's nothing over here, Tracy. You need to go up there and face Araya head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. But... should probably check over here first. <laughs> this is how we avoid things. Do -do 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 do I mean, I'm... <laughs> I know there's nothing in these rooms and shit. Probably. I mean, there was a pen in that one room, so you never know. But, I don't really want to approach Araya. She's the least scary of the bad guys, but it doesn't mean she's not, she's not kind of scary, you know. She is kind of scary still. Oh, there's a light on in here. It's locked. <sighs> Time to approach the ghost. Feels like my mouse... Did not get better. Okay, Raya, I'm not gonna look at you while I approach. Oh, yeah. Just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. She is fucking dramatic. And every time she walks away or she moves, she makes that weird dramatic noise. Music. It's like, girl, you could just fucking... I can see you without the music. You don't have to make this an entire thing. 
What's this? Huh. Oh, there's a diagram of a tampon inside of a vagina. This is the place where all people that get divorced go. Okay. Cool. It's over here. I mean, obviously she went through that door. Like, invisibly walked through it, so... It's probably the way I need to go, but... Ooh! Shiny shit. Shiny shit. That's why I explore everything. All these garbage bags all over the fucking place. Why were these here? Like, like they were left here, obviously, for a while, but why are they here at all? Oops. Whoa, shit! Rama! Rama, you got quite the mouth on you. Fuck. What the fuck is happening today? Two people dead? Dead. One jumped off the roof and one ha- Hang herself. Isn't it hanged? Or at least hung? It's never hang herself. Rama. It's okay, he's foreign, I forgive him. They were still so young, and now... I tried to get help, but the girl, her body was gone. I only found a phone on the ground. What the fuck is going on? The girl, her body was gone. Are they talking about... Are they, is he talking about Araya? I don't know. Poor Rama, though. He's such a sweet pea. If this turns out to be a fucking Hostile 2 twist where the good guy ends up being a bad guy in the end and Rama's really a bad guy, I'm gonna be insanely shocked. That would be a huge twist. Because he seems like the sweetest guy in the fucking world. I doubt that's gonna happen, but I would be very surprised. We know his daughter died. Aw, that makes it even sadder that all these people are dying and killing themselves and hanging themselves. wonder who hungers- I will wait for you. I will wait for you. Okay. This just became cheesy as fuck. What the hell? I'll wait for you? This guy is just really upset that he can't get the pussy. Looks like he's got a sex toy to make up for the fact that he can't get the pussy.